This is day number two of the exhaust install. I finished my headlights, but just did the same thing on the other side. But today we still have Brock and we're adding Brennan and Jay. So we're about to start doing this exhaust right now. We just took the muffler off. We went and grabbed some bolts from O'Reilly's. You're gay, bro. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to do this now. We're just gonna do the cat back today. Um, they're sending in new hardware. He was supposed to get hardware with the headers, but it never came in. So we're waiting for the hardware and then we'll do that. But we're just gonna do the cat back today. I was just guessing at 12 or something. Well, yesterday it was a 12 for the other ones. Okay, well, it's probably a 12. Thanks, Brock. Are these dudes out here eating? Your boy's about to get to work. Alright, so we gotta do these three three bolts right here. They're about as black as tires. Um yeah, it's gonna be kinda tricky with the heat shield right here, putting the new bolts back in. But uh yeah. Jay just found out something very interesting. He said his car was tarred. Oh yeah, I never showed y'all. So this is like up close. We just sent today. What is it? VHT? Is that was called? It was Plasti Dip. No, it's not. It's Nightshade, bro. It's not Plasti Dip. <laughs> but yeah, I, sp I sprayed that, and we both, me and Brock, did the other day after school. How many coats do you say we did? Like ten, maybe. Nah. Ten really light coats. Nah, I think it was like honestly like six or something. But something like that. So they actually got back to them and there's no hardware. I don't know. But so we're just gonna take off the whole exhaust headers all the way back. We're gonna take off the heat shield. I might throw in the clip from the other day whenever we were gonna start this and show that. Um we should take the nuts off the studs. Hopefully they don't break. These are gonna be super hard guys. So these are twelves. I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know that these are gonna be super hard. Twelve mil? Okay. For 12 mil, he, I think he's missing two studs because there's no bolts on this. But uh, what brand kit is this, bro? It was by Pro Tuning Lab. But it's DNA, right? Yeah. He got a DNA kit. Um, headers all the way back. And uh, I'm about to check out this. Man, <laughs> these headers. <laughs> this dude brought them to school in his book bag, dude. And these are the headers, so this one's gonna look like inside the car. All the welds look pretty good. Um, the actual tubes or leads or whatever, they're uh, actually a good bit thicker than the stock ones. But we'll compare it whenever we get it off. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's the headers. <laughs> All right, so pro tip: if you do not have PB blaster. <clears throat> We use carbon choke cleaner or some brake cleaner. Spray it on here. These three bolts that came right loose. They're supposed to have two more right here, but <laughs> who needs them? Wait, Dutch. <laughs> like they literally just snapped loose. Like they're so simple. But uh, we just drove this over here, so they're warm too. Maybe that, that, that helps. Yeah. But so these two nuts right here are actually welded on on the bottom of the header. Hey, bro, can you see me? Y'all see me? No, I see the light. Oh yeah, I see you, bro. <laughs> Look at you, bro. <laughs> cute, ain't it? So, these two are, top ones are welded on. So don't try to spin it from the top. Just go under and they're burning, cracking them loose super easy. Uh, we already cracked these top ones loose, so we're just going to spin those out and spin out the bottom ones. Build up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's off, boys. All right, hand me the ratchet. That ain't the ratchet. <laughs> Got your hand. Where's mm -hmm. the other one? Though? Where's the other one? Right there. Oh, it is. <laughs> you may need a few extensions if you do this job. <laughs> so these top ones were already broke loose, so now Brock just has to fully take them off. That one's. All right, we almost got the last bolt off, and then the headers are coming off. This is a D17 A2. I'm pretty sure it's an A2. A D17. 
um, from the 05 Civic EX. Hang on, son. I think I'll be tech. Last nut. Was that was last one. All right. Now you gotta finagle her out and there. That is what I'm talking about. So you want to remove this old grimy gasket? You don't want to double use gaskets. We have brand new one. So that's the old one. Let's compare it to the new one. Is in the box. Oh no, wait. Yeah, it is. Here, just set them beside each other. Let me get the other gasket. Just let it know. So, this is the difference between the two. Hey, where was the oxygen sensor? I thought it was one in here. Oh, it's in the downpipe right there. So we're gonna have to remove those two. Both the oxygen sensors are during the downpipe. But on the new one, the, oxygen, the primary oxygen sensor actually goes on here, unless the other pipe that we have has two. This may just be an extra bung that they give you, but if not, then the primary sensor goes here. But this is the difference between the two. See, these runners are way beefier than those. So the only problem, or the only difference, is this one doesn't have. This new one doesn't have the nuts welded on, so either we need hardware or we might try to cut these bottom ones off. I'm not sure, so we'll update y'all. So we were wrong. I was checking in the box, and we all noticed that we did not have a downpipe. Um, and I asked Brock about it, and apparently it's a cat back, but it just came with headers. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, a bit of mu <laughs> miscommunication because we were wondering because none of the pipes had bungs for the O2 sensor. Um, so we're, you use the stock down pipe, but you just put the headers on the top, and the new pipes replace like the resonator. So there's not gonna be a resonator, but the pipes are a good bit like difference in size. This is literally like an inch and a half, and this is like two and a half or something like that. But, um, the angle doesn't really give it much justice. But, yeah, so we got to unbolt it from the back of the cab. There's three 12 millimeter uh, nuts right there. Unbolt that and then just bolt these new ones on with the muffler, and we should be good. I think they're replacing, they're going to do the header here soon. Jay just showed back up. He had to go get his little brother from school. Um, so this is what it looks like. You don't have to take out any of the O2 sensors. We just have to put two bolts on the bottom. And uh, put the header in, but we gotta figure out how we're gonna get um, how we're gonna screw in the new header first. So we'll get back to you guys. All right, so just we're about to put the new ones in or the new header in. So I think that's just an extra bung that they give you just in case you need to run like a wide band or something. That's just how it looks in there, it looks pretty nice. Oh, I should probably get the gasket. Oh yeah, don't, guys, don't forget the gasket. <sighs> dumb, dumb head. Dumb, 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 dumb head. It's fine, bro. Okay, let's go. If it's their car, make sure you make them do their own work on me. So I still don't know why we don't have the two top studs, but... Talk to Brock, and we're just gonna run it. The screws drop. <laughs> just nuts. So yeah, we're just gonna run it without two studs. But <laughs> if there's a big leak, we'll figure it out. gonna shoot off. Hey Brock, is your car VTEC? Yeah. What do you mean? It says it, doesn't it? Where? Right there on the cross. Oh, Where did you put it? I thought you said it had VTEC. Where? Bro, it does. I promise. I swear. It's super short. No, the, the, the brown one. The, yeah, the taller no, one. The big brown one. 
So we're about to do the uh, open header test here to make sure that these uh, headers are going to be uh, good quality. So um, they're not connected to the downpipe. It's literally just straight open headers. I think you should run it like this all the time. <laughs> we're about to get a little sound clip. <laughs> that was <laughs> that shit's loud as fuck. Why is that unscrewed? What the just the O2 thing uh, or whatever it is? Two nuts, um, just two random nuts that threaded onto the bolt, and we they are threading them on right now, one on each side. And then what we're gonna try to get the <laughs> mid pipe broken loose from the uh Hey, where's the other screw? From the cat. And then we can put the other ones on. Um screw. I can reach this screw better, so So Yeah. Just have to go this up and get back to you guys. Okay. So this, is, this is the resonator? Yeah, that's the resonator. Okay. So, these bolts that bolted to the cat, there's three of them. They were extremely tight. There's no way we would have been able to get it. I'm laying on the other side. Brock put them on. And, like, I'm laying on the other side. And I literally just put my foot on. Had him hold it at the top so it didn't fall off and strip. Like that? Yeah, like that. And right. I just pushed. And once it, like, started, like, getting good, I had him move his hand. And I just kicked it all, or, like, pushed it all the way through. And that's how we broke loose all three of them. They're super hard though, so be careful guys, and we're going to take hey, these three bolts off and drop this entire rest of the exhaust, and then we're going to lay it out next to the other one and show you the difference. So on the stock exhaust, the three bolts that bolt up to the cat, you're going to need to keep those nuts because the studs are welded in. So you're just going to reuse these nuts on the new one. So we're getting it all hung up now. Uh, this is the muffler. I thought mine stuck out further and this fitment is definitely not perfect yet because we have not put it all the way on. It's still not going on. Brock's trying to get it on. He said the it's not letting him get the flange onto the studs because the heat shield on the cat is not like it's too thick. And yeah, see this is definitely another one away because the flange right there isn't even connected. So are you just trying to put it on the hangers right now? Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna come take a look at it. I told him to get a flathead screwdriver and try to bend it up, but I'm gonna see what I can do. So these three bolts right here that yeah. connect to the cat mm -hmm. are super hard to get to. For these bottom two, there's one right here and one right here. Just have a shop do it. You have to have a wrench. <laughs> this one you can use a ratchet, but it's literally only like two clicks. It's like click, click. So these are hard and to get it to go on was actually really difficult. It wouldn't really like these studs wouldn't go inside the flange. <laughs> so we got one to go in and then I threaded it. <laughs> what the heck? I got one to go in and then I kept threading it with the ratchet until the other ones could go on. Then I threaded those on by hand and then torqued them down. Um, 
We have two uh, flanges, the Titan, one that goes to the uh, muffler back there, and then one right here. Goes one to side. Empty resonator. Yeah, that's a fake resonator. It's really it's hollow. Here. Yeah, Brendan, you're dumb. <laughs> Older videos, people don't know. But um, one nut is a, what is it, a 14, and the other one's like a 16 or something? There's a wiener on my wiener. I know, yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to torque everything down. Make sure you put new gaskets in between everything. Uh, the kit actually came with it. The, he said, Brock said that this kit was uh, $200. Yep, off with a pro tuning lab. Pro tuning lab. With DNA. DNA exhaust. It came with a cat back and headers. So, y'all check it out. I'm going to see the fitment from the outside while they torque everything down. So, this is how the fitment looks from the outside. I mean, obviously, everything's not torqued completely yet. Um. And we can probably stretch some hangers to make it get more centered. But I mean, it's not that bad. It goes a little bit off to the right, a little bit angled. But the car's still on jacks here. But that's how it looks. Oh my god. Harley does not like you, bro. She don't like you. Yes, she does, bro. Okay, so... Uh, we got everything tightened down under the car. I'm about to start it up. They're going to feel for exhaust leaks down there. Um. turn it off we're gonna get it off stands and uh, we're gonna see how it actually sounds Jacob you're a whole cat whoa 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 wait, wait. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <laughs> oh my god come here dude oh my god that would have been so bad <laughs> we got a video too <laughs> hold it oh my god okay chop chop Wait, is everything up in my Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, don't lick my ear, Bubba. Yes, sir. This is what the headers look like. Chopper. What up, dog? <laughs> Get down. <laughs> oh, God. All right, bro. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel... So we didn't put the studs in, but I, didn't... I don't think there's any leaks up here. I didn't hear anything. Didn't feel anything. Uh, we finally got the gasket seated. It was kind of hard at first, but we kind of figured it out. Three out of five is the majority rule anyways. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we got all that on. We got all from the cat back. We got all the mid pipe. And, of course, the part that everybody's going to see. The four inch fatty. So, all in all, uh, I think so far I rate the DNA, DNA kit pretty good. We're going to hear what it sounds like in a second, but you got anything to say? Nope. Anybody? Took longer than it should have, like always, but yeah, we're pretty we got slow it done. With this kind of stuff. Yeah, we got it done, like always. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna wipe off the headers really quick before you know our fingerprints get all over them. I'm sure they're gonna get dirty eventually, you know, but at least while we can make it look good. Yeah, I think these have a few fingerprints on them. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, stock manifold, <clears throat> not the prettiest line. Alright, so we're about to start the car. Your key's already in the ignition. Um, let's hear what it sounds like for the back.
What is up, guys? Huh? What? Uh. <laughs> Bro. Hey, what's up, guys? First of all, um, I forgot to edit an outro to this video. And um, it's been a few weeks since we made that, and I realized that, but I want to thank you all so much for hitting a thousand subscribers. We wouldn't have been able to do it without y'all. This YouTube thing is something that we all wanted to do as a group, and we're happy that we can actually have some support and views and stuff. But um, we have stuff in store, like we have this. So we got sponsored by the detail shop. Uh, it's called the underscore detail underscore shop uh, underscore SC. And... Um, They've been hitting us up. They are detailing our cars. They sell audio equipment. They do tent. They do all that kind of stuff. So we're really trying to support them. And then he actually hit us up and gave us these. They're just little lights. And they didn't fit on one of the cars. So we're actually going to use it for a giveaway. This is the white setting right now. I know it looks kind of blue on camera, but it's white. And um, it's all controlled through a little remote. And I'll show you that more later. But I just wanted to say thank you all for um, supporting us. We have a lot more content to come. We're all in school, so it's kind of hard to get together and film. Now that summer's coming up, we should be able to do that a lot more, and I hope you guys are ready for that. Just stay tuned. We have a video coming up right after this, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We also have our Instagram will be down in the description where I'll post the rules on how you can enter to win some of these, and I'll show you some features right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. So the, as I said before, the um, lights, they're um, controlled through this remote. So you can just turn them on. They also work with the door. So if I open up the door, they turn on and all that good stuff. But um, I'm going to turn them on. And so they have different settings. Like you can just change it to the color. So like red, don't do this, but blue. And then it's like you can change the settings. And then you can do it to like a strobe. Well, I don't know why it's not strobing, but oh, I think it just takes a long time. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, they have all kinds of different colors. Um, failure. They don't come with batteries, so you're going to have to get that. But it says what kind of batteries they need on the back. Uh, super simple. Uh, you can adjust the brightness and everything. But one thing is don't press the off button on these. Just use your button because... Someone told me that the off button makes them so that they don't work anymore. I don't know, but I'm just going to change them back to white. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in winning this and a local motion decal, it's not going to be like the big ones we have, but they're like a one foot long strip. Uh, a tad bit longer than this. Oh, wait, I think I have one. For size comparison, that's my glove compartment, and it is about this big. So, if you're interested in winning one of those, plus these, all you have to do is go on our Instagram down in the description and look at the rules. Well, this is coming from the entire group. We really appreciate all the support we've been getting lately. And if there's anything y'all want to see, like anything at all, like maybe whenever I get new tires, we'll do a little something special or anything like that. But if there's anything you guys want to see, just let us know. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. We thank you so much. Peace out.